Hey, Collider fans. Well, a Red Band trailer turned out to be a movie uh, that got dropped on YouTube. We're going to talk about that next. Hey, it's John Roke. I'm here with the King of News, Jeff Snyder. Now, this is coming to us from comicbookresources.com. Uh, apparently, this film, Kali the Killer, uh, was dropped on YouTube for eight hours, the entire movie, when they were intending to drop just a red band trailer for this movie. This is interesting because the movie was released by Sony last year on DVD, but somehow, instead of dropping a trailer, they dropped the entire movie on YouTube. Jeff, what do you think when you hear this? What is? The, why did this happen? I don't know whether to give uh, whoever's mistake this was a promotion. Yeah or fire them. I mean, th this is a big error. Uh, it's scary how easy it is that someone could make a mistake like this and, up mm -hmm. uh, and upload the wrong file. Because if this was, say, I don't know, a Spider-Man movie or at Sony, right. it'd be costing the oh. studio tens of millions of dollars, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, potentially. Right. So, But on the other hand, we'd never be talking about this movie, Kali the Killer, if it wasn't for this person's mistake. Right. So like, PR-wise, this is a great move. Yeah, it got more attention to the movie because I mean, since this, it isn't like it was burning up the DVD sales charts last year or the rentals. So I never heard of it. Exactly. No, I don't think everyone did. And this was this news got kind of dropped a little bit a couple of days ago, and it's been picking up steam over the holiday. And now it's now it's on all the trades. People are talking about this because what does it mean for streaming? What does it mean when you and YouTube Red has their own uh, content, but you can find certain films online? You go you, all the stuff that's available there with the multiple streaming services. You got someone in charge of dropping these things did they really drop the ball or did Sony do this for attention what do you think Sony uh, home Entertainment. again only only 11,000 people viewed it on YouTube before okay. Sony ultimately removed it uh, right. you know from from a public listing or whatever the movie is is available to rent on YouTube it could that could have been the mistake right that you think was, it was on the, YouTube side or that Sony's? maybe it was yeah, it could have been on YouTube side right. it was maybe uploaded to the wrong side of YouTube I don't know but eleven thousand dollars if you break it down how much how much does that movie cost to rent five dollars maybe probably well, yeah we're maybe talking less. about 55 grand I don't know what yeah. that uh, ultimately uh, but but of course there's the pirated copy that's right. the thing. Once these things get uploaded, someone could just, you know, download the file and now it's on all these piracy things. So I don't know what this ultimately means for the investors of a movie like this, but yeah. it, I, I think ultimately it's a good move for Sony. Yeah. Can't and you, hurt. And you like this Richard Cabral guy. Uh, so do you like, do you think this is a way that could get his like name out there even more I think by it, accident? I think that it does. You know, he's okay. known for like American Crime and Lions MC. Mm -hmm. Apparently in this movie, he plays a hitman who develops empathy for his targets. Who do, never, I mean, who doesn't? Never seen that before. <laughs> uh, as he takes one last job, one last job, he's like 30 years old, uh, one last job to support his ailing grandmother's end of life care. Well, Aww. that's actually a very nice, sweet reason. I, I really like Richie Cabral. I think he's mm -hmm. the real deal. He comes from, from a troubled upbringing. He, he beat the odds, got out of that environment, mm -hmm. and and uh, I think he's a very talented actor. He is my choice to star in the Scarface remake. Oh, wow. I would much rather see a guy like Richie Cabral, who has a certain authenticity, mm -hmm. than someone like Diego Luna. Right, you know? right. Well, you know, I came from tough upbringings as well, and I'm somebody. But listen, this is this is an interesting thing because I used to work at a DVD testing facility. I used to be the manager at a place called Testronics, and we were in charge of projects with multiple studios, Blu-ray, DVD. We had to watch all the different streams, audio and video, and we were they were super afraid that a copy of it would leak online ahead of their sale. So stuff like that, they, they, they put new security measures in when a copy of Shrek 2, I think it was, leaked. Uh, unbeknownst to them, and when it was found out, all these new security measures came. You had to check out, you had to put it back in a vault, you had to have two security guards. There's all kind of stuff. So to have it drop like this, I think the times are just changing, and stuff's more available now. So stuff like this, even if it wasn't an accident, stuff like this is going to happen. I think it, it definitely has a, a, an impact. And again, even though this is a smaller film, yeah, it, it begs the question: What if it had been a bigger movie? Right, this could have been a much bigger problem. So, uh, yeah. again, like John said, got to go uh, take some extreme measures when it comes to. Yeah. Security these days. Let us know what you think. If you were this guy's boss, would you or 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 woman or yeah, woman? Sure. Uh, and 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 they had made this error. Would you have fired them? Or yeah. because everything turned out okay in the end, or at least it seems like, would yeah. you maybe give them a promotion because they're, they've got us talking about this movie? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Right. Like this video and subscribe to Collider for more.